welcome back nana here and then in this record we are going to see a back to back transfer now so we have just completed the back to back buy now we are going to have a look at the back to back transfer so i will now share my screen and then go inside <coughs> now uh, for the back to back transfer first of all we will now see the inventory orgs now i am not going to work on the existing inventory orgs because i have to collect and do it now and you don't do it like this like me now. you create your own org and then do it now. because of laziness i am not doing it now but you create everything then only you will have a look and feel of where exactly you are making a mistake and not to come back manage inventory organization and go there so let me query on 00 and then it is 0012 from 2 to 1 i am going to bring it in so <coughs> it's not giving me any results actually so not on the name now uh, uh I, i can put the organization up 00 and then you have to have no search no and 001 and 002 i want to search for it now it is not asking for the full name now 001 is seattle now 001 is seattle and then 002 is atlanta right so the seattle org is having a location called seattle and then if you go there atlanta is having a, a location called atlanta so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring it from atlanta to seattle actually so this is atlanta so let me bring it from atlanta to seattle so the location name and org name are same in vision now Fine. let us now go there and then have a look at it. look at the transit times now. so manage transit times manage transit transit time please you create your own org own location then do it then only whatever you can understand it clearly i am now working on the existing ones don't follow my path at all <coughs> because here the origin is atlanta find the internal location i will now put atlanta and then give it a and then you know choose the atlanta okay and then the destination is seattle actually it is again an internal location and go there the seattle it is ready madely created in vision i am using those things click on it click on it Atlanta. It is zero to zero two to zero zero one. I am going to bring in. Thank you for searching. So here, carriers and transit times are very very important. If you go there and then have a look at it now, you will see. So there are multiple methods of moving the material between Atlanta and Seattle. So one is what UPS ground, one is the two way, one is the air, truck, etc. etc. Everything will be having different transit times. So if the customer, let us say, he is asking uh, material tomorrow itself, we have to send it by air. and then if you saying that what happens after one month also it's okay because i am going to make a payment only after one two days we will now lift the consignment and then keep it on vikram center and then ask him to go be walk so the transportation management will now decide the exact route now when you learn the order of transportation management so which is really very optimal which is the cost savings so so there is there's where what happens your profitable to promise and then uh, Uh, available to promise everything is coming now so that will be taken care of by oracle transportation management and then the, with the lesser cost we can meet the customers scheduled ship date so in this case what about the dhl air air next day air has been made as a default shipping now so one of them must be a default if you don't make any of them as a default remember the transfer order fails <coughs> the transfer order will be failing because we are now going to move it from the second order to first order so it will be creating a transfer order and the transfer order will be failing one of them must be a default <coughs> so you create your own org create your own locations and then try to perform a back to back transfer with your own setups so and then only what happens you will you will succeed and you will understand the full forms of because in the field you won't be having any atlanta or no seattle <clears throat> everything will be blank actually so when you do it you will understand it cancel so for me what happens you don't go there i will not create an item so carriers and transit times is very very important for transfer orders now <clears throat> so that i have seen you will be creating it yes so click on the product management let us now go there and then go to the product information management and then let me create the item for this go there click on it and then click on create it now i am now going to make a back to back gop gop transfer now <coughs> put the operations again up with the with the route item class click on okay now this items attribute and then the previous item there is a back to back by there is no change at all and everything is same as such there is no change Go there. So A zero one underscore B two B transfer. Here there is a buy now and transfer. <coughs> so it is a B two B transfer. Take a copy of it now. Click on the description. So attributes are same for B two B buy as well as a transfer now. So I am going to give you some unit numbers for the specification now. So four areas you have to make a check now. This now. <coughs> so in this place, go there. Manufacturing 
you go there and then here nothing to be attended to fine go that you know whip the building whip you know be as you know pass then go to the sales and order management you click on the sales and order management in this place make the back to back as yes and then here the transfer orders must be enabled now so in previously what happened the transfer orders i have not disabled it but i don't know whether <coughs> even if you enable it it will not give a problem or not i'm not sure about it but for a b2b transfer this must be enabled <coughs> this is a must and then check atp i'm not making it as an end normal so because what happens is if it is a problem it will be very difficult because it has to be uh, done along with the planning central and manufacturing actually the check atp you have to learn it along with what your manufacturing so check available to uh, promise and then capable to promise information when what happens is the planning and demand that's what it's saying so it's for a demand planning actually right so capable to promise as well as available to promise and then uh, what happens when you are planning when planning demand actually so from a uh, demand planning <coughs> Cloud, what happens? It will be coming up now. So this way, what happens? I know it is a none now. These two are okay. So none other attributes need to be what happens? The change does not come. Let's go on it. And then I go to the the, the manufacturing you have seen, and then the sales and order management you have seen. Back to back, as I said, check it. It is no now. And then transfer orders are enabled. So go to this place, and then go to the planning now. Let's go on the planning. In the planning, go down, and then ensure that what happens? You are uh, uh, MRP planning is there, and then I always have a. Good. This is again for only for planning center actually. Man, go there, make it as yes, and then give one lead time now. So in the processing name is lead time. Man, go there, give it. Go there, and then go now. And then in this place, go to the purchasing now. Even though we are not going to purchase it, but I must think. Must have a list price. I think probably. So if sometimes if list price is not there, it may even fail actually. <coughs> so give a list price. There is. I am not very sure about it, but even though for a transfer, what I must say, I I think it is required. I am not sure about it. Make it simple. So we now set all the item attributes over here now, and then go there. Go to the associations, and let me associate to the child now. You go to the actions, and then here, what happens? Go to select that, and then I will now associate to both the orgs now. Zero zero, and then entering now. Fine. Zero zero one and zero zero two. Zero zero one. I'm choosing it with the control. I'm choosing zero zero. So I'm going to move it from zero zero two to zero zero one now. Two to one. I'm going to move it now. Fine. Click on apply, and then click on that. <coughs> it's all done now. Fine. So the item attributes are now done. Fine. Click on it. And then I will now go to the actions, and then go to what another what I'm going to go to the save and close, save and close. So the item is now created. A zero one B two B transfer is ready now. So like the previous case also, if you go there and then have a look at what is your area of supply chain planning. So I will now go to the supply chain planning, and then go to the plan inputs, and then have a look at it. The item will not be visible at all <clears throat> because it is not collected. So we have to first of all collect it. Go there. So click on it. I will now say A zero one. Underscore B to B, and then what happens? And then create. What happens? You know, fine. Uh, click on create now. <clears throat> you will know, see. Uh, okay, there is a mistake. I'm going to click on B to B. <clears throat> so one item only coming. Fine. So the buy item is coming, but the transfer item is not visible at all. So when you go and make worry, what happens? Only buy is visible. The transfer is not visible. So the transfer has to be collected. No, fine. Click on it. Let's not do the collection. So go to the correct planning data. <clears throat> First of all, you now go to the bring it to the supply chain planning area. Go there. Go to the OPS now. And then I will now put the item over here and then bring it over here. Nothing else I am collecting it. Only item I am collecting it. Click on item and then I am going to collect. So I am now collecting the item and then bring it to the supply chain planning area. And then we don't have any stock. Okay, stock also is required. Fine. We had to have a stock. No fine. In the second hour we had to have a stock before collecting it. Whatever we don't have a stock. So let us now go and then have a look at the stock. No fine. So I will now open up one more tab which is not here. I will now go there and then click on. We will have a stock on the <coughs> second door because we had to go to ship it from the place. Go to the supply chain planning and then you go to the inventory management. You click on the inventory management and then keep a stock on the second door. So go there. Click on it. On the inventory, you click on the create miscellaneous transaction. Drop it down and then choose miscellaneous result. Vision is fully set, and so what happens? Uh, uh, you will not be landing up an error on many cases, but if you do. On your own structure, that will be excellent actually. So try to do on your own structure if possible. Now, so that is the real uh, uh, what happens the simulation for the field actually. Okay. Testing and simulation is not a good one because I don't have time, and then the the instances are all getting flushed. And then so what happens every time creating a structure is a very difficult task. Okay. 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 I will now have a stock of this transfer item. <clears throat> So I have to be on the second hall. Sorry, I made a mistake. No fine. I have to be on the second hall. Give us cancel and then give uh, give us yes. No fine. Give us change or go on this. So the first activity is to what change or go to this place. We are going to change or to zero zero two now. Ah, do that. Zero zero two. Then go to add now. Okay, okay. We are not changing the hour. So in which we are going to keep what a stock. 
click on it and then click on create missile milestone section. So drop it down. <coughs> and then you go to the miscellaneous reserve and put a account on it. Click on search and then choose some account. In reality, financials will tell you which account you had used now. Go down, click on OK, and then make what the is this thing is what item passes yes now. And then click on plus now. <coughs> we'll go there. The E01, I'm in the second half now. Underscore V, V, and then give a tab now. And it will show you both the items, only one item. In the second arc, we have got only one item now. Only in the first arc, we have got both the items now. In the second arc, we have got only one item. And go there. So we will now choose the stores. We're going to choose the stores. And then here, I will now put the quantity as let us say 1000 now. And then click on submit by which what happens. We have sufficient stock in the second arc. Now you are going to do a what? Back to back transfer. Transfer receive and ship. That is the business process which you are going to test now. You are going to transfer it from 002 to 001. And then from there, what happens? You are going to ship it to the customer actually. So through the GOP. So we can submit it. What happens? You will get a message now. The transaction is not possible, no issues. Right? Now we go there and then correct. Okay. So we are going to make a correction now. So let us now collect both the items and stock now. Go to the correct planning data. So in this place, I will now make it as one. Okay. <clears throat> Click on it and then collect planning data. So make it as what OPS now. And then go down. I will not choose the items on the static data. And then on the dynamic data, I will not choose on and on and then take it over here now. I'm not collecting on net change nothing. So the fever the parameter you give it will be faster actually. Collection process will be faster. Thank you. Come submit now. So we are now submitting it. So it's not giving you a warning that you are going, you're not going for a targeted collection. It's okay, man. Click on this. So the process is now submitted. So after some time, what happens when you go there, you'll now find both the items coming up over. In this place, what you now find both the items coming up over. So only one is coming up. So let us go there and then have a look at the uh, concurrent program which is now running in now. So go to the monitor process. So once when it gets completed, the stage data will be the last one now. So you know. <clears throat> so it's not like so it doesn't wait for some time and then complete the what about the collection process now. So the worker to delete stage data is now running now. Fine. It must have collected. You now go back in the previous one and then click on search. Both the items must be visible. <clears throat> so you can see both the items are visible now. So uh, 001 buy and then transfer, transfer. The transfer item has been kept on two organizations. So it will now show you three entries over here. The transfer is now being kept on 001 as well as 00. You know, coming. So now we can very well start our activity on the GOP. There are three activities of that. So let us now go there and then begin our activity because it has not come to the supply chain planning area. From there, what happens? You have to make it available on the GOP area now. So click on the home icon and then we'll now go and then start our GOP activity. Okay. Go to the order, order management and then go to the global order promising now. The first activity is manage ATP rules. The three activities of the GOP are going to begin now. And then go there, click on manage ATP rules. And then I will now query my A01 now. Find we already have one rule now, one uh, thing. There itself we can add it. Otherwise, we can also add separately. There is no harm at all. And then we will now click on edit now. <clears throat> so in the ATP rule assignments, we already seen the criteria now. In the criteria, these things are for profitable to promise and then uh, are capable to promise. There are so many things that are available here. So the planning center will not take care of. The planning center plus transportation management will be using it. So always make it as yes now. And then always make all the supply sources and demand sources as yes now. So that what happens at a late rate. Let's say you want to balance against the supply or quarter, sub, or quarter as a supply. So no need to come and then put a tick mark. If you put a tick mark on itself, this particular uh, what happens, the rule can be used for you. So all the possible supply sources and demand sources are added. Now here we are giving use the different demand. So if the demand is going to be less than 100 days, what happens is this will be considering it. If the demand is now past 100 days, that what happens it will not work now. So this area is mainly only for uh, what happens, the planning center activity. And then leave it as a So it is now a supply chain uh, promising. Uh, so we have already seen an infinite way of promising. And then the lead time is uh, from manufacturing. So there are three promising modes now. So we, have, we are now choosing the supply chain way of promising. Go there. Click on the ATP uh, assignments and then here we will now add it. Plus now, we'll now add the help. Go there. So one is a back to back buy. GOP dropship, I think uh, I have understood the mistake also fine. I will be doing it again. Fine. Go there. Click on it. And then I will go to the item organization. Click on it. It is 001. And then I will go to the item. A01. I will go to the transfer item. And then coming is a dropship and drop it down. 
So where is the transfer? It will be to be transferred there. I will add one more line for the 002 R box. Because I click on the item R and I will add it for 002 also. And the key will now drop it down and then choose the transfer. The transfer is now activated. So the first activity in GOP is now complete. Now I'm going to it. So we have completed it. And give a save and close by which whatever the ADP rule is now created. Now we go and then get the sourcing rule for this. So click on it. You must enter the item organization combination for an item organization. It has got one more entry. Right? So BDB transfer, it has not got registered. So next one is what? So for the 002, it was there. And then for 001, it was not visible at all. I don't know how it has grown now. A E01 BDB transfer. So it is now coming. Click outside. So what happens? It doesn't drop now. Click on save and close. So 001 transfer is there. 002 transfer is also there. So they are eligible for promising basically. Click on on this basis on the basis of this supply and demand. So it will now collect all the supplies and all the demands for all the entities of this now and the rule set. And then what happens? It will now promise the customer whether we can supply it. So click on second close now fine. So manage ADP rules is not complete. An assignment for the nomination of the parameter already exists. Duplicate assignments are not allowed. Fine. Only one assignment is allowed. Fine. So what is the mistake? <clears throat> So in this place where the uh, here there is no problem at all. In the second area is not saying it. Ah, it's not even going to this area. So they should have allowed us to go there. Now fine, this is a, a technical problem actually. So they are not even allowing to go to the ADP rule assignment at all. And we have come out of it, but I'm not allowing cancel and then again make it. Ah, they don't have to come. Edit the, you go to the ADP rule assignments now. And let me add one by one and then I will now save it actually. And you have plus one. At every stage you must save it. Go there. I remember the item organization is 001 and then you have to then drop it down and then choose the transfer item now. So transfer item is there. And there. So outside and then click on save. <clears throat> now give okay, again plus now. Item organization and then the 002 now. 002 and then drop it down and then choose the transfer item. Transfer item is there. Now. Click on it. Click on save. They all done it. So transfer item is available on both the orgs now. Right? Save and close. So this activity of ATP rule is not complete. Thank you. Let us now create the sourcing rule. Click on that. I will now go to the what's called the managed sourcing rule. <clears throat> we will be creating two rules now. And click on it. I will now click on search. You will be having plenty of rules available again. Okay, so many rules are available here. Let us now create our rule. Yes. We can even use an existing rule if it is applicable. A01 underscore whatever. So B2B. I will now say transfer. And then always what happens, have a better understanding about uh, 002 hyphen 001. So try to give a meaningful name so that what happens by reading it itself, we can understand about we are going to transfer it from 00 to 01. So give a meaningful names so that we will be able to easily identify what this rule is going to do. Nobody has to go inside and then read it actually. And heading itself is more than sufficient. So click on plus now. Point. The sourcing will affect the data is not coming from there. Click on it. I will now give a plus now. Point. I'm now going to make a transfer now. One more thing is what? If it is a transfer, it should not be global as well. It will be local actually. And give a cancel now. I made a mistake here. I will have to make it as local, not a global. So click on plus now. We have to make it as a local transfer. So click on plus. And then I'm gonna paste this name over here now. And click on it. And I'm gonna paste it over here now. I will not make a change to local. So it, the destination organization number has to be specified 001 of the destination. Now. So click on plus now. Click on plus. <clears throat> and then wait And then go there. Click on plus now. And then here, what happens? Where it is a local one, all the three will be coming in. Right? Transfer make and buy. Whereas if it is a global one, may, buy, uh, make is not possible. Only transfer and buy will be done. Now I am going to make a transfer. Transfer it. And then from organization 002, I am going to make it. Okay? So from organization. So here supplier is not coming. Allocation percentage is 100 now. And then this one. And then rank this one. So by which we have completed that transfer rule is not completed. And then save and close. A01. And then go save and close. Now once when it is brought to 001, what happens is that we are going to ship it to uh, the customer. So we already have a rule there, but I will now create and show it. And we already have a rule for shipping it to the customer actually. We go on then A01, we make a search now. We already have a rule now. So what happens, we will now say ship, buy and ship. Buy and ship is the same, the activity is only same. We go there and then click on it, what happens the name is only buy and ship now. But internally what happens is a global rule and then it is going to ship from. <clears throat> oh, God, the buy from oh, the buy, buy, okay, it's not a one now. <laughs> the naming is not correct actually. Uh, B2B transfer is there, B2B buy, B2B ship. I think this may be the B2B ship. This may be the I'm going to ship it now. It's a global rule. 
and then is a global room now and go down so you are going to transfer it from 001 to customers location right this transfer is about is going to be 001 to customers location actually so there you are going to transfer it from 00 local in the local room what i mean when you say a transfer from 001 on a global basis if it is a global one when you transfer it transferring is only for the customers room on a global one if it is transferring transferring it only for the customers now under the local room if you see our local room now find it is a local room i can click on edit now so is a local room so if it is a local room if it is a transfer it is going to transfer from 002 to the local organization over here the local organization so there are two types of transfers one is about transfer to customer in a global fashion and the local what happens it will be transferring it from the this place to this place but you must understand the local and the global transfers by the way thank you for answering so we are now completed this now fine so let us now make one more rule for the transfer to customer actually my two months now fine i will now say e01 i will now say uh, transfer to underscore cost so transfer to cost so normally we will now you has only one rule and then you'll be doing it now it doesn't matter by just one defining it and do it so transfer to customer so i will now use it in my assignment set actually fine paste it over here now and then go down and then i'm going to give a plus name <clears throat> so it's a global means what it is a transfer to customer yeah. so click on plus now i'm going to make a transfer i will make a transfer to the customer from organization 001 to customer's location yeah. so click on and then allocation is 100% and we one more. so these allocations will be taught in a planning center actually fine multiple layers of allocation there so transfer to customer i'm going to use it now and yeah. So I have a, a transfer from zero zero two to zero zero one, and then transfer to customers. These two rules I'm going to use it as an assignment. Okay. Now click on what happens. Save and come out now. <clears throat> Save and close now. Okay. The second activity is now called the third activity. You go there, and then here I have already created one uh, one assignment set. Now fine. Go to the manage assignment set. Now you know how we got it. It's A zero one the assignment set. Click on search now. So we already have one assignment of this. Now fine. The assignment set. I'm using it now. Click on it. <clears throat> A zero one assignment set. So we have one one assignment set. Not this one. We will cancel now. We are using the B two B now. Fine. B two B one. I am using. Click on edit now. You now see what happens. We have an item organization level on the B two B now. Fine. A zero one B two B. So on the item organization level, you are going to buy and then receive on zero zero one, and then afterwards on the item level, we are going to ship it to the customer. Fine. So buy, receive, and ship. All of them are basically configured over here now. On the A zero one B two B itself, we are now add more now. So now what happens? My system has to sense only this now. Right? If you see, there are plenty of uh, what happens. Assignment sets will be there now. Right? Give a cancel. You go there and then you know, give a cancel. You know, have a look at it now. There will be plenty of assignment sets will be coming. Right? Go to the manage assignment sets now. <clears throat> and then click on search now. There are plenty of them. In reality, it will not be like that. It will be only one at any time. Right? So our profiling has to point to one of the assignment sets actually. Go there and have a look at it. Right? Right click and then duplicate. You will now see the profiling. There is an admin profile which will be setting which assignment set has to be used now. You click on the name and then here you go there. Go to the setup and maintenance and then have a look at it now. <clears throat> and click on it and then go there. Go to the task and then go to the manage admin profiles now. The manage admin profile. Go there. So go to the manage admin. There is a profile called MSP default. I will not put in capitals. You know, MSP percentage. Default percentage and entry number. So there is a MSP default assignment set. So this will be pointing to only one assignment set at any point of time. We have two levels: site level and user level also. Fine. So that also possible. If you click on it, whatever will be having two levels actually: site and user level, and editable actually. And then that you can even at the user level will not supersede the site level. Actually. Now he is not pointing to this. Not fine. So the system is now going to you only select the entries on this uh, assignment set only. So you don't. So you have to choose only one of the assignment sets in the field now. But here you are creating multiple assignments only for practice. Actually, you can even do it now. And remember, when you are working on mission, you might have made one one uh, assignment set over here. By the time you go to the sales order, somebody might have changed it, and then they would have done a refresh and collect, and then the sales order will not end up in error. So, if the sales order end up in error with so many mistakes, you come over here and then make a check. You come over here and then make a check. Now, <clears throat> that is the one. So it's all done now. So let us now go to the third activity on our on our GOP. So the manager says, "Let me put it B two B now." So here zero one, and then enter now. Fine. I will now open up B two B. I will now make two entries on this. I click on edit now. So I have already made two entries for a back to back buy now. Fine. I will now make two more entries for a back to back transfer. I click on plus now. 
First is again item organization of an electric and item organization. So at the item organization level, I'm doing it on an electric. Level. I will not populate my item over here now. It is a back to back transfer item. So I will not choose the transfer item over here. I will not put the sourcing group. So I am now going to bring it from what the second door to first door. That I transfer it from second door to first door. So I will not choose what transfer. Uh, uh, why my room is not coming up here? I will not put the organization over here. 001. So this is the destination or I'm putting it not on there. So here I will not go and then put it. My A01 and then go tab now. The sourcing rule. So once when you put it, all the local sourcing rules will be coming. So we have to bring it a local sourcing rule somewhere. So item is transfer and then item or will now then find over 001. Drop it down and then make a search now. There is a local sourcing rule. Find click on search now. Click on search. And then I will now populate what A01 now. So click on search now. So you can now see this one. Come as a cap lady. So we had to choose this one. This is a local sourcing rule. Some in item level only global sourcing rules will be visible. Remember, whereas in item or local sourcing rules will be visible. I, I think maybe local and global. I don't know. I'm not sure about it now. But local will definitely be visible if it is going to be an item or uh, assignment. <clears throat> For an item assignments, only global will be visible. The local rules will not be visible at all. Click on okay. So we give an option over. So you will not give a save now. As and when you build it, what happens? You give a save. Now. So this is an item organization 001. So we are going to transfer it into this org now. Item organization, what happens? We are now transferring it to this org. And then give a plus now. Fine. We are going to ship it from this org to the customer. Now. Click on item. So I am not giving an item now. Fine. So I will not pop it the item over here now. A01 and then you have now. So transfer item over now. I will not choose the transfer now. Here, only the global rules will be visible. The local rules will not be visible here. Fine. Click on search now. And then if you put A01 now, starts with A01, the transfer rule will not be visible at all. The item level. Those are the ones that are not coming again. What is the mistake? I have not put this one. Put the sourcing rule. And then afterwards, whatever you go there and then drop it down and then check it. Click on search now. And then if you put it, the global rules only will be visible. The local rules will not be visible at all. Right. So we are having a transfer 0 to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 001 that is not visible now. So item will only show you the global levels. Item org will definitely show you the local. I don't know whether it will not show the global or not. I'm not sure about it. So I made one transfer to customer. Find the transfer to customer A01. So I'm not putting it. In reality, what happens? There will be only one for transferring to customer. We will not be getting multiple. Just for understanding purposes, we are not doing it. So my what happens? My GOP setup is not complete. So here, what happens? We are going to transfer, receive, and ship. So with the chip, what happens? We are not doing it. So go there. Click on it. Click on save and close now. So having done this, whatever we done it. So again, go there and then here, what happens? You click on the view sourcing hierarchy. So sometimes this is not coming now. Fine. We'll now go inside and then see whether we can enter the parameters or not. Fine. Go, 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 click on it and then click on edit now. So click on edit. We'll now again click on the view sourcing hierarchy whether we can enter it or not. We'll see it now. Still not coming. I don't know how you are. Sometimes it comes. Uh, I don't know where you have to keep it. You keep it as here on the. Uh, please tell me about how to open up for editing actually. The top that's what coming. It also is not coming. So keep my cursor. Uh, outside or what? The catalog can be emitted anything, it doesn't matter. Now. Click on this again, use sourcing hierarchy. <clears throat> not coming. So we can enter it and then you can see, but where from you are going to source it now. Find over. So click on save and close now. Again, from the outside, we will not see it. Select it and then click on the view sourcing hierarchy. <clears throat> it's not coming. Otherwise, we can see it and then it will not show you the complete details of how it is going to be sourced. So at the item organization level, it will be making a transfer. And then at item level, it is going to ship. So these two images will be coming now. Ah, it's not coming. No, it's not. So select it and then click again on using hierarchy. Anyway. So we are now completed all the activities of uh, what happens here. GOP, fine. One is the ATP rule, one is the sourcing rules, and then one is the assignments that everything is completed. Now we have to connect it into the, plan, in the supply team planning. Click on, click on the home icon and then you go there. What is the supply planning? And then what are the plan inputs now? Click on the plan inputs and then I'm going to perform the collection. Click on plan inputs. And then let me collect it now. So let me perform a collection. So go there, click on it, and then we go to collect. Collect planning data. I'm going to collect only the order orchestration reference objects only because I have not done only the GOP changes now. I'm going to click on it. I will not collect it. So, click on it. so order orchestration reference objects I'm going to collect. It. Click on it. Nothing else I'm going to collect. So everything other things is collected. So and the net change I'm collecting it now. Order orchestration reference object is what? 
for the manage ATP rules, the sourcing rules, and assignment set. If there is any modification, I will be collecting. So I have now created all the three things from my work on submit now. So again, targeted is okay, Pentagon is not. And then now we'll now wait for the concurrent to complete. So should we refresh it enough? We'll now wait for it. So on the plan inputs area, what happens? We cannot see this now. Right? This area we cannot see. It. Only items can be seen now. Right? Your orchestration collection cannot be seen. <clears throat> that cannot be seen. And there are so many things on this now. Right? You go through the document, it will not explain a lot on this. So all these things are now done now. Right? Let us now bring it to the, what the GOP area. Right? Click on the schedule, new process now. Refresh and start. Refreshing and starting. <clears throat> so here, what I have to collect is what the ATP related one file. I know say ATP rules, sourcing, and then whatever you are, uh, allocation rules. This much is sufficient right? because only the uh, GOP has been modified. Nothing else has been modified. Now. So already the, the remaining have already been collected now. So if you are not collected it, whatever is preferable to collect everything now. So refresh it. Right? If you are not refreshed, all these things one uh, the prefer oh, on and also has to be refreshed. Right? So previously on and was not refreshed, and that even that is not refreshed. The items also because the item has not come out here. In fact, the organization is already there actually. So items, a new item has been created that has been refreshed actually, and then uh, sourcing and then I have no refreshing the on and also because on and has not come to a point. We are not for the back to back buy. We don't have any on and for the back to back transfer. We have an on and on and as we refresh now and click on it and click on submit. So we are submitting it, thank you, okay. <clears throat> so it's not running. So what happens, all these things will be visible on the GOP area. So GOP is nothing but an inline memory engine. So it will now bring everything from the supply chain area into the inline memory area. From that, what happens, the sales order will be basically promised to the customer. So this has now got completed. So let us now log out and then log in now. Sign out and sign in. <clears throat> so here if you go to the supply chain planning and then go to the plan inputs there are some more utilities are also there to monitor the GOP activities so if you drop down on the safe somewhere and the open fine if you drop down what happens you're getting a square rectangular square actually in the plan inputs. so if you click red fine if you click on the Rectangular square, take okay, rectangular area. It shows you a lot of things on this. They normally analyze uh, uh, the planning center will be analyzing a lot of things on this. Now, what is collected actually? Whatever is now available in the GOP area to do it, on the item cost. Everything is available. Plenty of things are available. I will now go to the items and then have a look at whether it is available or not. Any item quantity is there? Can you see item quantity is there? And also, you can even check whether that is available or not. Item class is coming to all these <clears throat> aggregate bill of resource. There's plenty of things that are available here from a planning center perspective. What I mean, they used to analyze on this area actually. Item cost, item structures. I go to the items and then click on okay. Now they will not see what exactly is collected. <clears throat> That's what is it. No populated item from the A01. Whatever has come in the, uh, in the GOP area, it will not show there. So this many has come now, two seven hundred each. Closing data. These are all what happens. Uh, you have one uh, online planning available in GBS now. Fine, that is similar to this one. One online planning. Fine. So through which what happens? We can now do the simulation planning and other things. So they used to do a lot of things on this. One. I don't know much about it. So it doesn't show me any quantity also. These are all the planning attributes. These are all the planning attributes. So supply type, whatever is the planning attribute, it is now listing down. And then those things can be modified, something they use <clears throat> advanced method. So when you learn the planning, what happens, they'll be teaching a lot on this. So I just told you this one. Okay. Now, having done everything on the setups, we'll now go on and create a sales order. So we're going to transfer it from 002 to 01 now. <clears throat> so that click on it, order management. So then you go to the order management again. Click on create order. <clears throat> we're going to create order. Drop it down and then choose your business unit over here. Click on it. So use one business unit, first business unit. Then afterwards, I will not put the com uh, computer rentals and services. Computer services and rentals. All other things will be getting populated over here. 
So click on the item. Item is what? A01 underscore B, and then give a tab number. It's a back to back transfer item. Let me choose one. Let me choose it. So the transfer item I'm choosing now. So since I have given all items price, the price will be coming as no. So if GOP is properly set, it will be showing either as out of stock or in stock. Right? The stock is available. So if it is saying data is not retrieved, that means what? Some of the setups of your GOP is not fully complete. It has to get completed till shipping it to the customers. So till ship to the customers, what happens? The particular item must have a GOP activity there on the inline memory. So if it is not there, it will not show us this. So I won't go for say seven quantities. We already have thousand quantities on this home and we have seven and then click on add. <clears throat> so on a B2B, it was expecting us to provide what happens either the supplier, <clears throat> either the supplier or the warehouse in this case. That is what it showed me. The error showed me. Supplier or the warehouse is missing. So this is also this time also what happened. The previously it was not so. Right? We need not have to give any warehouse a supplier. So this time also what happens, I will not leave it and then see on the inside side whether it's okay or not. And B2B was asking. For a warehouse supplier, so it will give a red X mark, and then afterwards we added the supplier and then recovered the process. Here we will not see what is the present situation. Is. So I'm not adding anything on the supplier. We go to the general area and then I will not say when it is required. Not find that. So it's now 13 is the date. I'll go there and then make it as 15. <clears throat> In 15, I need. So I'm putting a date as 15. Go for that and then click on submit order. Apart from that, I'm not giving anything on the supplier area. Then click on submit order. So the order is now getting submitted for a back-to-back -back transfer. So it will be coming, and then we will now see how it is progressing on the do. <clears throat> so 99358 is the one. Okay, I already made one. Uh, uh, I made one. Let's see. Nine nine <clears throat> three five eight. The sales order. What transfer? So nine nine three five eight is the one. Now here I will now go there, go to the actions and then what happens is the approval bidding is coming and refresh it if there is no approval doubt, it will be getting made to thousand of the good actions and here I go to the switch to fulfillment view. <clears throat> I go to the fulfillment lines now. Go there, go further now. Go there. So click on the do number now. In the top what happens the do process will also be shown over here. Is a custom do. Why a custom do is getting fired, I don't know. That is why what happens, this is not happening. I think. If it is a normal do, do I don't think it will be stopping it actually. Fine. Because the custom do only, what happens, not doing it. somebody has made the custom do to be the default do. I don't know, I'm not sure about it, how it is coming. And normally what happens, the default do only will be coming. So that is the reason. So go there. Now the pass is completed. Fine, go there. So supply request is not completed. Now. Supply request is completed. So somebody has made it. So try to work on some instance where what happens? You'll be having a default do getting fired. Now. Fine, the custom do is coming. I don't know why. It's so fine, uh, rather somebody might have made it uh, to be the default. I don't know from where to make it also. So that is why the previous case what happens? It was asking for a invoice pass. Now. So here also what happens? The invoice pass has been introduced on this now. Maybe this may be. Uh, what happens? Uh, your customer acceptance. I'm not very sure, but it's not fine. Over. So supply request is completed. Fine. Click on refresh. Not fine. Over. Supply request is completed. Now it has to go to what? Awaiting shipping. It is not going to awaiting shipping. <clears throat> so the call the activities are now completed. So here it doesn't need any or inventory or the supplier on the main screen. Fine. In the previous case it is required. So in the back to back buy. So that means what? Because of the custom do only it may be requiring it. Right? So somewhere the vision is the biggest problem. Fine. People are modifying so many things. Uh, I don't know how they have done it. So it's not completed fine. Go to the fulfillment lines now. Fine. It is not going to the awaiting shipping. So click on the fulfillment lines and then have a look at it. So the SCO will be created now. The SCO is for buy, make, and transfer now. Fine. We have already seen the SCO for uh, your buy. Now we are going to see a SCO for transfer now. Fine. Go there. So click on the supply details. After having gone to the fulfillment details, what happens? You click on the supply details. What happens? You can now see a SCO order coming up now. The SCO order. <clears throat> so the supply chain orchestration order number is there. Fine. It is now awaiting a supply. As I click on it, you can now see what happens. So click on the supply. It is not awaiting a supply. From 0, 0, 002, it is now awaiting a supply. You click on it now. Fine. So it has now completed the transfer order creation. The transfer order is now completed. So you can now see what is the status of the relation supply chain. Transfer order is created actually. So transfer order is created from 00, 00 to 0, 01. So if you go to the buy, what happens? You cannot see the document number is also there. In the buy, you will not be finding anything. In the make also, you will not find anything. And the transfer also. So score is for these three activities: buy, make, and transfer. Now, this is transfer order number one two nine zero zero four. 
if you go to the orchestration plan and then have a look at it, you know, see the transfer of the money. It will be reserved, and then what happens? The interop interop shipment will be made, and then afterwards put away, and then finally put the money. So this is the way it is going to progress now. So right click, and then what happens? They duplicate it. Keep a cursor there. Dishu coming up. Now we'll now go on and have a look at the transfer order. Okay. So we'll now go to the supply chain execution, and then I will now have to change the organization to 002. Thank you, Mr. Comment. And then I will go to the inventory management, and then have a look at the transfer order. Go to the top now. Click on it. And then manage transfer orders. <coughs> manage transfer orders. Okay. So here, the transfer order number, we won't take it up from the previous screen now. Right? The transfer order number is what? If you go to the execution documents, it will not show you. So the reservation is that the transfer order number is 129044. It has completed the reservation also. If you go there, click on it. What happens? You know, complete it. The reservation tick mark has to come. If you refresh it, what happens? It's a tick mark. So the reservation is what I'm doing. So the execution documents will now say the transfer order number is 129044. Go there and have a look. 129. So the destination org. What is it? Is what? 001. The source org is 002. And then you can know, query. Click on search. And you can query on this now. Or otherwise, transfer order number is also available. You can even query it. <clears throat> so click on search now. So it's now searching. And then so from the source to destination, what are, what are the transfer orders that are available over there now? You can now show all the transfer orders now. Since the reservation to be okay, and only one is coming actually from the US. So we have only one, one order available. <clears throat> so, are, so the item is what? B2B transfer now. So you can even see the item over there. Okay. Make it B2B transfer. Now. There's only one order available there. So there's an order. And then the line number. <clears throat> Where is the transfer order number now? Item line status. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it now shows you the transfer order number. But the transfer order number may be in the top. Yes. One, two, nine, zero, zero. So it is there. So select it and then click on the view shipments and receipts. You can now see that what happens. It is not at ship at all. It is not requested, not at ship. And go there. So right click and then what happens? The duplicate and then we will now ship it to the okay. go there. We are going to ship it. So in the second org, I am going to ship it now. Fine. Go to the supply chain execution and then you go to the inventory management. <clears throat> you go to the inventory management. I am going to ship it from second to first. You click on it and then you go to the shipments now. Go to the shipments. And then here you go to the shipment lines and then put the order number over here. Okay. Order number one two nine zero zero four is the one one two nine zero four two. So go there one two nine zero four four and then go to the organization is what not zero zero one. I'm not changing it to zero zero because I have to change the, the top now. I'm not changing. It. I'm not changing it. Click on search. So I'm going to search on this now. <clears throat> Okay, fine. Before let me change the organization also because we have to work it properly. So we have not change the organization to 002. So we go there, click on okay now. Organization is what? 002. <clears throat> click on search now. It's not show the organization. 002 is not shown here. Why it is not coming? Click on search now. 001 is coming. That means what data access might not have been given off and it is not asking for a data access. Only. 001 is only coming. So 002 is not getting listed at all. So we'll not go there and then give the data access. But uh, visions uh, uh, thing are not required for some of the duplicate and then we'll not give the data access to 002. Mission works in a different manner now. The role itself, what happens is they embed the data access actually. They click on it and then you go there. Go to the setup and maintenance and then go to the manual data access. Click on it and then go to the search now. Manage percentage. Data percentage. Access percentage. Manage percentage of access for users. So SCM00 is stupid. The one time click on plus one time. It is not added for the second one. So SCM00 and then give a tab now. So the role is what? Inventory manager. Give a tab. So inventory manager role itself is not there. You can see inventory manager role itself is not there. So in such cases, what happens is we had to add a role also and then come over here. Right? It is not there. So they have a different philosophy of uh, what I'm doing it. That has to be learned actually. Uh, Balaji told that he will know, give some highlight on it. So you know, wait for Balaji to uh, do this now. Go there. Go to the tools so that the role itself is missing now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I'll now go to the security console and then add the inventory manager. I'm not going to use this now. <coughs> 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 so, 
So query on it and open it up now. <coughs> Click on edit now. <coughs> so once when you edit this uh, standard user now, you can now see there's a different way of doing it now. OU is CM role. <coughs> they only want this one part. So let me add the role of inventory manager. So this is uh, taking care of only 001, remember, not for 002. So let us now add the inventory manager. Click on add role. I will now add the inventory manager. <coughs> <laughs> Ora, I'm not using it. I'm click on add role. So I have added it now. Fine. So for which we will now give a data access. Now. So this standard role is only for the first org, it seems. Fine. There is inbuilt actually. I don't know how to make it inbuilt. Fine. Right hand, if I do it now, I will now add the inventory manager role. I will now give a save and close now. <clears throat> so click on done now. And then now here, whatever the go there. And then here you will now give a plus now. And the manager access one click on plus. For the sec first org, everything is there. Only for the second org, we need more. Okay? SCM00. And then give it add one. SCM00 dot instruct. Okay? Instruct this one. Okay. So the role is what? Inventory manager. INV and then give it add one. Inventory manager. Inventory manager. So from the second or first org, nothing to be given now. Remember, on every inventory org, there are four data accesses are there. One is the receiving agent, one is the warehouse manager. One is a, a shipping manager, and then one is a uh, inventory uh, manager. Right. One is the inventory, uh, uh, what is it? One is a uh, receiving, uh, and then uh, warehouse manager, and then one is a shipping agent, and then uh, one as an inventory manager. I'm not sure which one. There are four things which are given. So I will now put organizations what? 002 now. So I will now choose the 002 now. <coughs> For the inventory manager, I've given it now. <coughs> Inventory manager role I given. I click on plus now fine. So I will have to how whether we not see whether it works or not. Fine. Whether I click on plus now fine. I will not delete it now. <coughs> okay, I will not put it. Yes, CM zero zero. <coughs> now receiving will not be visible at all. <coughs> so receiving is not required. <coughs> From the second org, I am only going to ship it now. I am only going to perform shipping. So shipping manager must be available now fine. So that also would not be there. So we had to add that role also. So let us now add because I'm not going to see receiving and then warehouse and the second org, I'm not going to do it. Only in the first org, I'm doing it. So for the second org, let me add it now. Click on it now. Click on it along. Add the shipping manager also for us. Click on edit now. And then click on add role. And then shipping manager. So shipping manager is coming from going on to run now. Manager is a better role than compared to agent now. I'm always give a manager role. Shipping manager of Ura. Ura. So shipping manager of Ura. Now instead of agent, what happens? I add the manager, it has got some better powers actually. So these two are sufficient for our work actually. For our work. In, uh, in fact, otherwise, what happens? The inventory manager, the receiving agent, warehouse manager, uh, shipping manager, and the inventory manager, all the fours are required for inventory or every inventory. Then only you can do all the activities now, depending upon what he is going to do. So the shipping manager is added now. So click on save and close now. And now what happens? We go there and then we give it. So go to the back and then what happens is now I add it. the shipping SHI and then give it have now. Make a search and make a search now. Shipping manager has to come up. And then this is again for what? Inventory organization. That is again for 002. So we are now giving a shipping manager role and then the inventory manager Oh, warehouse is like, no, we are not going to what happens. Only ship it now. Give a save and close. Now it is not done. Fine, click on done now. Now we can very well uh, do this one. Fine. Go to this place and then here, here what happens? I'm going to do this one. Yeah, where we are now? In this place. The transfer order is 12904. Here we go there. And then we will now pick you now. Fine. Go, the, go to the uh, shipments and then go to the manage shipment lines and then give a change or no 002 will come now. Fine. Click on change or now we can see the change or drop it down. 002 also will be coming. Click on search now. <clears throat> and then give a blank search. Just to come. Oh god, it is not coming. So maybe I think uh, we have to. What happens? Log out and log in now. Uh, cancel now. <clears throat> so log out and log in now. Data access was not visible now. Log out and log in. <coughs> so we are going to ship from second hour. So this needs some more study actually. You go to the supply chain execution, and then I go to the inventory management now. Click on the inventory management. Because we are logged out and logged in actually. Because it is not refreshing and we are not. 
ఇది గొడవ సప్లై చైన్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అదర్ గొడవ ఇన్వెంటరీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ గొడవ షిప్పింగ్ షిప్మెంట్స్ దానికి ఇవి చేంజ్ ఆర్ మ్యాలేజ్ షిప్మెంట్ లైన్స్ దానికి కొంచెం చేంజ్ ఆర్ దెన్ డ్రాప్ డౌన్ ఈ వా స్టిల్ నాట్ కమింగ్ యాట్ సో మేక్ అ సెర్చ్ నౌ నోట్ ద ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఇస్ వాట్ 002 and then make a search now i'm not coming now i added the remaining two roles also like a receiving agent as well as a warehouse manager and then afterwards what i did this uh, i have given the red access also and then what i did is uh, i went to this area now and cancel it 002 is coming i'll tell you how it's coming i don't know where exactly is it and there is something i go there click on it and then i kept me on the thing on the inventory and then i went to the manage item quantities now so there he drop down and then choose the 002 now i choose the 002 it has not come and afterwards when i go into the shipping what happens it will be coming it is coming automatically on this now <laughs> so uh, really uh, strange actually so this way your the taxes has to be thoroughly studied actually an application error is occurred was saying no that no so let us now close it and then open up one more tab in the room so click on done <clears throat> over here click on it and then go there you go to the what's called supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management so i will now change it to shipments and then here i go to the manage shipment lines the org has to become a 002 i'm not going to see whether i can change it now or not so i'll drop it down what is 001 is coming and i will cancel it now i will not do one thing and go there so i will now go there click on it now i will now go to inventory and then manage item quantities and then change org here all the orgs are getting listed now i will now choose the 002 now so click on okay now now you come back and then you change it to shipping go to shipments now and then manage shipment lines you must get the 002 in there <coughs> now we'll now query the transfer order number of my work so the transfer order number is where uh, somewhere here i think oh is it gone i have it and then so we'll now go then see the transfer order number of my work on it we'll now go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management and then how about the transfer order number click on it and then we'll go to the inventory now and then go to the manage transfer orders now so here the source organization is 002 the destination organization is 001 and then make a query search for it and then transfer so the transfer order is 129004 now we'll go there and then choose it now 129004 129044 okay 129044 okay 129044 so make a search on this now 000 we are searching it now so if it doesn't come what happens not change it to some other date now it's not coming <clears throat> go there before or not before the month because we need it after some uh, two days only now find it okay now click on search now they should avoid this field actually the unnecessary filter so go there go to the actions and then you go to the what pick release now then you go to pick release. we have sufficient quantities on this now 129004044 will be picked actually with the order number so we'll now wait for some time and then afterwards what happens you go there and you say one close come on up it now the system will be picking as well as what happens a shipment number is also created you know coming and we will go there and then we will now do that what's called ship now okay now we are going to perform a ship confirmation now and okay on it so the orders organization is what go on 002 now <clears throat> click on okay now we are going to perform a ship confirmation now okay. so the orders so the this is the number is coming fine click on ship confirmation we are going to perform a ship confirmation so it is not given a warning only fine we do not uh, we have not defined the weight and volume is okay fine that is only for transportation now only and then we are not getting complete actually so if you go there and then see this placement this place what happens the manager orders you go there and then click on what happens the view ship bundles it is up it will not show you everything up and it is not showing us ship now request is a ship someone is in, and then the order now come right the expected receipt date is not coming this is the biggest problem so here what happens it has to notify the feeder system automatically sometimes it doesn't know you know wait for some time you know click on demo if it doesn't come what happens you run the manage shipment interface uh, ess job if you do it what happens the expected receipt date will be coming right 
if it doesn't come from Amazon. So it's not packing table. Everything is not showing you, but this is not coming. Expected result date is not coming for three months after Now wait, it may be coming after some time also. Thank you for it. No, wait. <clears throat> now see whether it is coming or not. Yeah, it has come. If it doesn't come, what happens? You run the ESS job <coughs> manage shipment interface with only the mandatory fields. No? One, one field is mandatory, the remaining four are not mandatory. If you wait, what happens? It will be automatically interfacing it to the what happens to your source system, the thing which is asking for material. Here, 002, 001 is asking for material. So for 001, it will not pop into this. So it will be able to receive it actually fine. Only after the expected result is near coming. Fine. Already Vikram has faced a problem. Uh, goes actually fine. Now we'll now go and then receive it in the uh, destination or in the, in the source or so in the meantime, what happens if you go there and then have a look at the sales order number now? So what is the sales order number? Have you written it anywhere? <clears throat> so the sales order, sales order 99358. Let us now go and then query it now and now see the progress of it actually. <clears throat> go to the space, go to the space. And then uh, shipments and reception again. You know, coming afterwards, I'll not come to the space now. And now leave the screen now. And then we now go there. We'll go to the order management. <clears throat> and then we'll go to the order management now. And click on it. And then we'll, not, we'll go and then put the number over here now. And then click on it. So the number is what? So 99358 is the number. 99358 is the number. And then give a search on this now. We're going to search for it. So we are searching it. <clears throat> and then it will not show this now. Anyway. It is not having a awaiting shipping only. So you go to the actions. And then here, what happens? We'll go there. And then we'll go to the switch to fulfillment view now. It has been shipped from the door now. Anyway. So we'll now go to the fulfillment lines now. We'll go to the fulfillment lines. And then you go to the supply details on this now. We'll go to the supply details. And then you'll now go to the score now straight away. And click on the score now. And have a look at the how much it has progressed on this now. So supply chain orchestration score now. And we're now clicking on the supply order number. We'll now see about how much it has progressed now. And we have only shipped it on the place. Fine. So it's not showing us shipped actually. It has been shipped now. And then here, you keep your cursor on the second line now. <clears throat> and then you can now see what happens. Interrupt shipment is not done. So only put away is pending. Fine. We had to receive it and then put away. And there's the only thing which is pending now. So once it is full, what happens? It will be going to, I think, fulfill this status actually. So score gets fulfilled upon this. Put away now. And click on it. So let us now put away. Fine. Click on it. So we'll now receive it now. Click on it. So we'll now go to the supply chain execution now. Click on supply chain execution. Go to the inventory management. And then we'll now come back to our first org now. This what happens. I'm going to receive it now. Click on it. So we'll be receiving it on the first org. So you will now change what happens. You will now go to the what? Go to the receipts now. Fine. Click on the receipts and then click on the receive expected shipments and then change the org to the first org now. So it's already in the first org only. Fine. Go there. So I can even put on the transfer order number, other in transit shipment number. I don't know what exactly is. Fine. That is uh, not visible actually. This is very much visible. Fine. If it is a customer returns, we can use it by RMA. Suppliers, we can use it now. Fine. Purchase orders, ISN. So during a, what's called uh, yeah, a drop ship order through using your uh, what's called a drop ship order using GOP or non GOP will be using the AS and right? only for AS and we'll be receiving it. So uh, we'll now have a look at the transfer order number. So 129044 or something like that. We'll see that 129. If you're not remembering it exactly, what happens, you can now put 129 and then give a tap. The balance will be automatically populated. It's okay, fine. Go there, coming on. Click on such now, fine. You're not expecting it. The expected receipt date must be there on this one. Remember, if that is not coming, you're not receiving it now. Click on receive and go to receive it. I will now receive all the seven quantities over here now. <clears throat> the seven quantities, I'm going to click on the show receipt quantity to be showing you. Fine, go there. So click on create receipts. So click on receipts. You can even directly put the inventory fine with click on it now and now submit the inventory. We already seen about how so many activities in the receiving you already seen now. Fine, click on stores now and then click on create receipt. So by which what happens? You're now completing this business process now and click on submit. So we have now completed the receipt onto the source organization. So what happens? It will now become material will be available now. So it's not done. So if you go there, click on it now. What happens? It will be getting put away and then what happens? If you go and then see this now, fine, click on done now. It will now say goods are available now. And that will be the status of the score now. The score status is what awaiting supply. So it will now show us what goods are available now. It will now take some time now. So for the uh, item to get progressed on this now, fine. click on refresh now. So refresh. <coughs> it's not coming, fine. Click on it. And then go down and then see whether the goods is available or not. An order com completed. So once the goods are available, we can go on then ship the product to the customers actually. We can go on and ship the product. Go there. Store now. Coming. Click on the Goods are available is coming. So goods are available. So awaiting simply, what happens? It has not come to the goods available now. We'll now see the header status actually. What is the line status on this? 
line status is again awaiting shipping for me. So line status doesn't change at all. Line status is not changing. So we have moved it from the second order to first star, and then uh, still status is not showing as awaiting shipping. And then if you go to the what's called uh, and the what's called and the score number, if you click on it, what happens? You must see the orchestration plan also. Is there any change on this one? So orchestration plan is also showing only awaiting shipping. Now let us go there and then what happens? Ship the product. Nine nine three five eight is now eligible for shipping. Now fine, we'll click on it now. So we are now completed this activity. You now go there and then ship the product to the customer. Click on it. Go there. And then we will go to the what's called supply chain execution. And then we go to the inventory management. Now. So it's a big process. Fine. People in different different inventories will be working simultaneously together. So transfer, uh, receive, and then ship is a very big business process in the industry. Uh, I went to Saudi Arabia and then there what happens? They are doing many things on transfer, receive, and ship. Fine. So that. What happens? All the activities are being closely monitored by the sales the customer sales, uh, sales representative actually. And then we are going to what ship? And then we will now put the order number over here. 993 is the order number now. So you know the order number over here. This one. The one. Next one. Huh? So you go to the manage shipment lines. 99358 is the one. So 99358. Go there. You know, change the date because we need after two days now. Go to the before and then put some date now. Click on it. Now we can. It is now eligible for a, what's called a pick confirmation. Now, fine. I am in the first target number, so we cannot ship it from the first target. <coughs> oh, it is now begin after <laughs> before now. <laughs> before, then click on search. The criteria. It should be a blank criteria. Fine. I don't know why these guys have put all sorts of restrictions on the criteria. Actions, what happens? A pick release. We can even do the pick and ship in one go. That also you try how to do all those things also. Somewhere it is all possible. Uh, I'm not gone, and then I've done that. such a deep dive onto this one. Click on second close. Go there, and then the ship fund number is it? Come on, ready to release one. Well done now. Again, make a research. So click on search now. Fine, I'm searching it. Ah, it must be staged actually. Fine, it's not staged. The shipment number is paid. If I click on the shipment number, then we will know ship company. No need to enter the quantity because what about the requested quantity is a ship confirmation option. Now, and click on it and then click on ship confirmation. This will be running a send shipment advice automatically and that will be interfacing it to uh, what happens with order management. So, if the send shipment advice concurrent doesn't run, then you run the manage shipment interface that will be running it automatically. So, it's all completed. So, wait for some time and then what happens if you refresh it? The status will be going to what ship and then finally the awaiting billing. In the awaiting billing again, what happens? We are having the past task now, is coming up now. So that is causing a problem now. So let me pass for some time. Now it is coming as a ship now. Go there. Go to the fulfillment lines and then have a look at the score now. So go to the fulfillment lines and then here go to the supply deals now. The message type is already coming now. And then here supply order closed. The state is saying what supply order is closed. So the score is closed actually. And click on it now. The billing is balanced now. And click on it now. But it will not show you even up to this now. It is now fulfilled. The activity is now fine. Click on refresh now. Go there. And then have a look at the execution documents. And then again go to the orchestration plan. So it's not coming. Go to the second line and then go to the first line again. Come back. It will not show you the result. The billing is now complete. So the supply order has got closed. Fine totally. Go there. So the purpose of score is what to ensure that the material is available on the shipping sub inventory actually. The shipping sub inventory will be available. So click on done now. Fine, we are completed. It's now closed and then completed. Now go click on done now. Fulfilled actually. Now the invoice is now causing a problem actually. I don't know how to do this now. Fine, click on this now. Message types now. Uh, it's a custom do for the invoice actually. So maybe customer acceptance might have been done also. So use appropriate work area. Fine, we are saying this message is not meaningless. We are unable to understand anything on the message. <coughs> So uh, if you go there and then click on the orchestration plan, this has got passed. I even ran the release pass task now, fine. That is also not getting released now. So here, uh, so ship and then the invoice pass. I ran the release pass task, but it is not proceeding further at all. Fine. Manual release of uh, pass task is not possible. Maybe we have to do the customer acceptance, then only what happens is we can do the invoice only. So they might have written it like that now on the custom DO and for the invoice. So, but how the custom DO is firing? For a normal sales order without anything, if you want, if you want a custom do to fire, what happens? What I know is 
we have to put what happens a transaction type over here so through a transaction type only we can do it now so if you don't put the order type over here now fine we cannot do it but now uh, uh, rather that is my knowledge is minimal on this now fine so how to automatically fire any custom do on a sales order depending upon the gop settings or whatever it is now fine so that's it now fine so we have shipped it fine so this completes a back to back transfer now fine it's a big process and so all of you please try to make it because this is a very important process in some industries where what happens a majority of the items will be used for transfers i went to saudi arabia for content training there what happens they are a trading organization they have the stock in very many warehouses in jeda damam kobar and then uh, uh, two more places basically they do riyadh also and then one more place fine all the places so whichever way you want to ship it now fine if a customer is near kobar they will now bring it from riyadh to kobar and then from kobar what happens they are going to ship it to the customers now so transfer receive and ship was a big process for them now. and remember if you are having around thousands of numbers monitoring will be very difficult only the individual sales order sales officers uh, the customer sales officers so sales officers will be monitoring it and then if there is any problem it is struck what happens they will be talking to the individual uh, inventory sir he saying the problem is what the warehouse may not be able to ship it in the proper time so it will be waiting 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 are you are pick 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 so he will be simply be behind that uh, warehouse managers will be and he says that because of my shortage of manpower and then sometimes uh, power water compressor here and another you need some handling crane maybe uh, out of order or something like that so because of which is unable to ship now and shipping from one warehouse to other warehouse was a problem for them so likewise what about the industry the industry it will be very so you have to analyze all the problems and then what happens i do it now fine so you have to configure it very perfectly that is very very important here in this place what happens your carriers and transit times are very very important and one of them must be specified as a default uh, shipping method actually and if they really want to uh, what about the monitor it and then uh, that uh, number of days you are giving must be realistic actually mm -hmm. so that way you are giving so by for now then we will now meet on a back to back make the next uh, topic is on the back to back make right so it's a big process please try to practice before you go to the field and then always what happens is uh, create your own locations your own inventory box and then uh, create your own carriers transit times etc etc everything you create your own. do not work on a vision because vision is fully set and you don't know where exactly you will getting a problem in the field you won't be having anything everything is blank and if the field if you go and then experiment everything on yours uh, and then if you are stuck it will be very difficult actually I mean, even what happens i will not be able to understand what where exactly the problem is so it's very difficult so please practice everything with your own substances on the entire activity now and try try your level best to go for your own structure and then do it now if there is no time and other things then it's okay fine the compromise is always there but uh, uh, if you are able to do everything on your own it will be excellent bye for now thank you <clears throat> you know meet on a back to back make